So for today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit more on the fun side. So we all know San Diego, it's an amazing city, it's an amazing city to live in, it's an amazing place to visit, tourism was one of our biggest industries. So I thought for today's video, I would become a tourist in San Diego. If you know San Diego at all, then you know there are a million fun things to do in this city. So I decided I'd have a little more fun with this video and I'm gonna try to get all this done in one day or at least before the sun goes down. In order to jam pack as many things I can into a single day, I'm gonna start off the day and I'm gonna hop on the San Diego trolley tour. So super touristy thing to do, I see them all the time, especially around the city, in Old Town, Coronado. I've been here for over 27 years, I've lived here, and I've never done it. So the entire trolley tour, it's fully narrated, apparently it's a 25 mile loop, it's supposed to be pretty good. So it has a bunch of different stops, uh, different touristy spots, so we're gonna use that as my transportation and my first touristy thing to do. All right, so I just bought my ticket, uh, sitting down to the trolley stop, so it's gonna be a pickup here in Little Italy, which is convenient for me. Probably if you're doing this, coming here from out of town, you wanna to hop on in Old Town, it's probably gonna be your best place to start, but you can get on on any one of the 12 stops. So, so far so good, uh, the narration's been awesome already. Uh, just from going to Little Italy to Old Town, uh, <laughs> learned a lot about Old Town. I lived there, I didn't even, a bunch of stuff I didn't even know. Um, this is gonna work out pretty good. So we're just, it gets to Old Town and this tour kinda starts here. So like I said before, you probably wanna start it from Old Town. So next stop after this is gonna be the Maritime Museum that we are gonna hop off on. So this is gonna be stop number one off the trolley. So this is gonna be the Maritime Museum San Diego. Uh, word of warning here before we get into the details of what this actually is. If you're not super into boating, nautical type of things, or if mobility is an issue, I would suggest actually skipping this stop and getting off at the next one, which is gonna be the Embarcadero area, which is gonna be like the USS Midway Museum. It's just in front of Seaport Village and the Hornblower and the flagship, like the San Diego Bay Cruises. So what this is exactly is gonna be, it's gonna be a museum, so it's gonna be several different boats. I think at this point there's 11 different boats that make up the museum, so the centerpiece is gonna be the uh, uh, Berkeley, it's like an old style steamship. Um, four, so four of the boats or ships here are gonna actually have historical designations. You can go on just about all of them. They're also gonna do cruises out of here. It's pretty cool. So uh, entry to the museum, it's gonna be $20. Um, there are discounts for like uh, over, if you're over 62 years old, child, military, um, there are some discounts available as well. So definitely check this out. Um, the Star of India is probably the most famous ship here. So this is definitely worth checking out if this is your thing. Now we're gonna make our way up to the USS Midway Museum and the uh, Harbor Cruise or where the Hornblower and the flagship go. Keep in mind the trolley, there's a trolley stop there as well. So you didn't have to get off where I got off. Well, that was unusual. I wanted to show you real quick the Portside Pier, which is a group of like little restaurants and a cafe. It's kind of in between the Maritime Museum and the Midway. It's actually closed for a private event. I don't know what's going on, but unusual. Let's keep going. Mendo. Kenobi. All right, so our plans just changed just a little bit. So I went over to the area here. So first of all, this is gonna be like the uh, San Diego Bay Cruise, which I highly recommend if if you've ever done it, you know what I mean. They narrate the entire thing. You can do two parts, it ends up being about two hours. You go to South San Diego Bay, see like all the Navy vessels and whatnot, and under the Coronado Bridge. 
or you, in the second hour, you go up kind of north and work your way towards, which is like the outlet. So you're gonna see more of San Diego, Shelter Island. You're gonna see more of the naval base on Coronado. It's definitely worth the trip. We're actually gonna do the cruise. So that's gonna be coming up in just a second. But I wasn't gonna do that originally. Originally, we were gonna go on the USS Midway, the aircraft carrier. Problem is, I didn't realize this. Today is actually, they're doing a premiere for the Top Gun sequel. So on the aircraft carrier right now, all the actors from the movie are there. Tom Cruise, he actually just, I a helicopter just landed on the aircraft carrier in the midway. So I'm pretty sure, I'm thinking that was probably Tom Cruise. But supposedly it's gonna be all the actors like Val Kilmer, uh, John Hamm, all the actors from the movie are gonna be there. Pretty exciting. So a little bit of a bummer. I can't take you on the actual midway and show you around. I'm definitely gonna get some drone footage to show you and some stuff from the outside, but that's what's going on today. So we are gonna do the Harbor Cruise. We got him, we got him, we got him. <laughs> All right, so I think I figured out what that private event is at the Portside Pier. My brother over here just uh, just got texted from him, asked me if I wanted to grab a quick drink, and I happen to be down here. He's actually going to the Top Gun premiere. That was awesome. All right, so that was a little bit unexpected. Not a big deal. We're going to keep our eyes open for Tom Cruise and the rest of the cast. So right now we're actually going to hop on the uh, Harbor Cruise. I'm pretty excited about that. I've done it a few times. A very touristy thing to do, but it's a lot of fun. Almost from the moment I stepped on that boat, I mean, I was reminded about how lucky I am to be living in such a beautiful city and have things like this available. Because we're a city of tourism, uh, we have these amazing opportunities. To being out on the water, there's so many beautiful days in San Diego, the breeze is going, it's warm, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. I mean, it's really, it's a special experience. You get to see the wildlife out here, you get to see everything, you get to see all the Navy ships, the submarines. It's a special experience that I highly recommend you try. All right, so that tour was so good. Ended up costing me $28. The website says $39 for the two hours, $33 for the one hour, but I bought my ticket through my phone online and it ended up being $28. So I'm just walking up now to Seaport Village. Still looking good on timing, so I'm gonna show you around Seaport Village a little bit. So the great thing about sea Village, or Seaport Village, I should say, is it's free. Now, when you get in there and it's, it's super fun. It's the way it's designed. It's actually designed by like the Disney Imagineers uh, amongst other designers, but they were the primary designers way back when. There's gonna be like shops. There's gonna be stuff for adults, stuff for kids. So, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a free option, but if you start buying stuff, it's not gonna be so free. You're gonna find that most of the stores, like the candy store, the toy store, the clothing stores, the sports market village stores, are all gonna be clustered in more of the center of Seaboard Village. Whereas you're going to find most of the food and beverage options are going to be up closer to the north side. Alright, so we're getting back on. It's uh, Seaport Village. That was absolutely the way to do it. You get off at the Maritime Museum, you walk up, you check out the Midway, you check out the, uh, the Harbor Cruise like I just did, and uh, you hop back on in Seaport Village. Now this part of the gas lamp is known as the Stingery District, named after the Stingray. Stingray is a bottom flat fish. They said it Why did Earth lived at the Horton House? Who knew? Just so far, so good. This narration is pretty amazing. I've already learned a ton of things about San Diego I had no idea before. All right, so we're sitting just outside the convention center, about to pass Echo Park. Petco Park stop right now. This is absolutely one of the most fun th things to do in the entire San Diego on a Friday night or Sunday during the day. You start that ascent up the Coronado Bridge you know you are on your way to somewhere special. I think Coronado Island is probably one of my favorite places to spend a day, a relaxing day out in the sun and just to enjoy the San Diego weather. Coronado Island is so nice. Coronado Beach is rated one of the top 10 beaches in the entire world. They have Dog Beach, the world famous Hotel Del Coronado. It's an incredible experience over there. 
All right, so we're just rolling up to the uh, Hotel Del Coronado spot, uh, stop. Definitely, um, definitely worth checking out. So I've been here a few times myself, so I'm gonna continue on through because I wanna make sure we don't run out of time. We're watching that clock, we are, it's getting kind of close to that cutoff time, 6 p.m., so we're gonna keep charging through. We're gonna go to Balboa Park. All right, guys, so we just got to the Balboa Park, so we're going to definitely hop up here. I want to show you all around. This is going to be an amazing place to check out. Museums are also going to have, like, the zoo up here. It's amazing. Trolley drops you off pretty close to kind of the central point here in Balboa Park, so this is a must-see if you're going to be in San Diego. Balboa Park is huge. It's actually bigger than if you combine New York Central Park and Chicago's uh, Millennial Park. Put them together, this is actually bigger. So you're also gonna have the San Diego Zoo up here. Um, there's gonna be like 17 different museums. You have the Spreckles Organ Pavilion. You have the, uh, the Japanese Friendship Garden. Um, there's an archery range. There's a huge dog park up here. So you definitely need to check this out. Uh, I'm gonna spend about 40 minutes here, um, but if you're coming here, it's gonna be, let's say it's your first time here, I would plan to spend a good part of the day, maybe even the whole day, include the zoo. It's definitely worth the trip. I think the best way to do it is to spend the first day either at the zoo or exploring all the museums and fun things to do. You really have to do it in two days. The zoo is probably going to eat up a good day and you don't want to miss any of the other museums, the pavilion, the organ, and everything else it has to offer. It's an amazing place to check out. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, this is highly recommended, for, especially for tourists. If you're visiting San Diego, you have to check out Balboa Park. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. So that was a ton of fun. So I definitely recommend checking out or trying all the different things I did. And there's so much more as well. I just wanted to get it all in one day, and I still can't believe I got it all done by six o'clock. So, uh, but that trolley tour was amazing. Um, that tour that I did on the Bay of the Hornblower, highly recommended. You have to get out to Coronado. You have to go to Balboa Park. You have to go to the zoo. I know we didn't get to the zoo today, but it's probably one of the best things to do in San Diego. I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video on that. Definitely wanna check that out. Um, but one thing I would absolutely suggest is when you, if you're planning to visit San Diego or you know, you're living here and you haven't done some of these things in a while, don't do them all in one day like I did. <laughs> Take your time and enjoy each activity. Coronado could be one day by itself. The zoo, definitely one day by itself. Balboa Park could be one day by itself. Going down to the USS Midway or Seaport Village, I mean, it could all be just one day. So no need to rush. Just wanted to add a little more fun to the video. So that was a pretty amazing day. We... All right, so I hope you knew it. Uh, so if you're visiting... So if you're visiting... Ugh. No. Yeah, just So it's that you need to spend a lot of time up here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you could smash that like button way there, that would be amazing. And if you're looking for your next videos, uh, I got two over here that I think you might like. These two. All right, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.